How to use AmpliNote? Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use AmpliNote. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So AmpliNote is a powerful note-taking and task management tool that helps users organize their thoughts, activities, and ideas more efficiently. With AmpliNote, users can easily capture their ideas, create reminders, store documents, and collaborate on projects with others. This is collaborative, so AmpliNote is designed for collaboration, okay? And it offers a range of features, including tagging, searching, and filtering capabilities, as well as project and task management tools. AmpliNote also integrates with other popular tools, such as Slack and Dropbox, to provide a unified system for managing information. With its intuitive interface, AmpliNote makes staying organized easier than ever. So I'm going to show you from zero. I'm going here into the homepage of AmpliNote and I'm going to log in. Okay, here I'm going to sign in with Google. I'm going to use this account. And that's it. This is the home page of AmpliNote. So basically, you have jots that there's where you can write whatever you need in order to, I don't know, to take notes in your um, school or university or work. There you can make all that. So as you can see, I can continue writing here. By default, this is giving me a welcome, so there are, you're going to find what you can do by now, okay? So, there is a note that I find really useful. So, AmpliNote is a long-term focused product for long-term minded people. Long-term minded people eventually realize that a richer and healthier life requires ruthless priority prioritization yeah we say ruthless because everybody generates more tasks than they can complete this is really important if you want to complete a future project you know what this is talking about and no your list is never going to be done more and more tasks are gonna be on your notes okay so ample note is gonna help you doing that there they have an example, so watch a good video about planning a week in under blah, blah, blah. Install the AI plugin if you want to use the GPT-4. There are a lot of tasks that you can use, okay? Okay, if you want to create a new note, what you need to do is go here and click on new note. Or obviously, for instance, here in May 26th. Let me see, today is 27. Oh yeah, because of this, sorry. But you can create the daily jots from here because if you have a project in mind, I really, I'm really sure that you're gonna have new tasks daily. So here you can begin to write and write and write. Okay, here in notes, there is the button also to create a new note, so you just, it's like a Word document, so you can bold or italic or strike through if you need it. Uh, add some head heading if you need it to the list with different, I don't know, if it, it, if it has an order or it's just a checklist to add a document, an attachment, an image, whatever you need, you're going to write here all that you need to create your note. Here I have some other examples to know what you can do there, okay? And there's a lot of info that you're gonna need too. There you can add some hyperlinks too if you need it. Yeah, it's really, this is really good, cool. Uh, if you click on the three dots on top of your note, you can publish this note. So you must be conscious of this. Note publishing is available for unlimited and 
founder subscribers. So you must upgrade your account to generate public URLs or embed and style node content in external websites. So by now you're not gonna able to do that, but you can add collaborators. So that's how you can do this collaborative. So write the username of the person here in Ample Note or just write the email addresses. You could also select if that person is gonna be able to edit and share or just edit and no share. This is what, this is your decision, okay? And you can apply Vault encryption because perhaps this is a private node. So if you apply Vault encryption, anybody is not going to be able, anybody, yeah, is not going to be able to find that. But for that Vault encryption, this is just available for unlimited and founder subscribers as well. Okay. Or you could delete the node or get into more options. You can download the node, duplicate it, lock, archive. There are a lot of other options that you can get into as well. Okay, so there you have also the word count, the character count and estimating reading time. This is really important too if you need to share something that the people is going to read, I don't know, in less than 10 minutes if you need it because this is really direct. Okay, this is a not note section. So jotes, notes, and tasks. Here you're gonna be able to find all the tasks that you have been writing into your notes. As you can see, here I have like five, here I have like four. There are a lot of tasks but here in task you don't you don't need to know and remember the node that has that specific tasks no you go into this tab tasks and you're going to find all those tabs you could also mark it like a priority or make it giving a date okay or also to drag and drop this and to well this giant mouse is hard to do. It's not working right now, I don't know why. But you can drag drop the different tasks in order to, to like make a prioritization if you need to. And there is a task score, so because it has the 7.6, this is really important, okay? So this is could be important or urgent and as you can see the score is gonna be different it's gonna vary okay and the duration too to complete this task so this is not gonna take more than 15 minutes or more than 16 minutes this could be a good information too for the people you are working with and the last option is a calendar so you can for instance here Tomorrow, on Sunday, I need to learn about the four modes, Amplinode, so you can drag and drop this into the calendar to a specific time period, so that person isn't going to be able to know what it has to do. Be careful here, because here it just takes like 30 minutes. Learn about the four modes Amplinode offers. I'm going to, yes, this is the second. So this is 30 minutes, but if I change this to 60 minutes, you can see that in my calendar, this takes more space. So that's why it is important. You could also write in the four day if you need it, or even a week, or the last option, the month. And you have some other like options to like, know how much to summarize how open scheduled tasks are and completed tasks okay and that's it that's Amplinode is really easy to use this is almost all by free there are also shortcuts that you could use and tags as you can see here there is the tax, so perhaps 
I want to add a tag that says students enter to add a tab. So a student, this could be, I don't know, independence day and enter and I'm gonna create more tags so you're gonna be able to find your notes by that tagging okay this is really important too if you want to organize your projects and that's it it's a really simple software to take some notes but this is gonna really help you to summarize all the tasks that you need to do in order to get your project finished so this is it. This is how to use AmpliNote. Thanks for watching.